Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a brief overview and review of Bird Watcher. So this is a game um, all about birds. So if you enjoy watching birds uh, in any type of fashion, this would be a great game for you because it has the their names and their scientific names on the cards. They're all really pretty birds on the cards. Um, so in this game, you're playing a wi rival wildlife photographer trying to snap the most photos of the most elusive birds. So you are um, starting out with your player board, which is your tree. And then each player starts out with four birds on top of their tree. Um, th I don't have four because we played the game. So this is basically in how it looked at the end of the game, plus um, I set up a few scenarios so I can explain the game really quickly to you. But you start out with four face-up birds here on the top of your card. You will have three birds in the, the jungle, none in your clearing to start. Those clearings will be placed in, the birds will be placed in the clearing as you play the game. So your goal is to try to, it's a set collection game. You're trying to collect as many sets of birds, hopefully in order in your photo book, which is underneath the tree. The more you have an order, the more points you will get based on the set. So this one, you get zero if you only have one red bird of paradise. You get two, eight points for two of them, 12 points for three of them, and 24 points if you have four of them. And that's all shown here. So it tells you how many in a row you can get to get more points. Some are two birds, some are three in a set. And then the number here in the upper right tells you how many of that type of bird is in the entire deck. There's regular regular style birds, and then there's these with this back that are the special birds. Those are, most of them are just the flat points, but some of them, if they have a question mark, they're improper nestlings. Those basically imitate or copy or duplicate the bird in front of it. Um, or they can also, and they also can be used to complete or add to your set. So they're, it's a initial, same as having that same bird that you have in front of it. So if you needed one to complete a set or make your set just more valuable, those are great to, to snag when you can, when they show up in the jungle area. Because each time one is taken, you're gonna be replacing it with another one from the deck. So your uh, actions that you could take are, there's five different to choose from, but you can only do three actions. To take a photo, you wanna startle the birds and so they'll fly out so you can take a photo. So you're gonna be startling one bird by turning it sideways here in the clearing, placing on top of one of the four piles. You can't place a startled bird on top of another startled bird. Then you'll choose one of these to come down to your photo book. And as you can see, I already had three of those started. So when I place that fourth one, that whole set is worth 24 points because they're in, they're adjacent to each other in my photo book. You can't move birds around. What, you have to place them in the furthest right slot as you place them down. Your next action you could take is run into the jungle. That's where you're um, basically moving all the tr uh, birds from the jungle into the clearing. So you would just take all of these and place them on top of a pile. And then you just put three more out. So that's an action you could do if you wanna basically try to get more different birds out there. At the end of your turn, the, un the startled birds are unstartled and they, they turn face up. You cannot take a startled bird from the clearing, by the way. Um, your next one is the bird call, and that's where you, any unstartled bird can be taken. You're gonna call out a certain type of bird, and if that bird is in both in the clearing or the jungle, you get all of them. So if I called this one, I would get this bird. You only get the ones that are pretty much on the top. Right, the only the only the ones that are viewable. You can't dig through the pile. So say I'm gonna set it up differently because I had it. So say I called this bird. You can see there's one in the jungle and there's two in the clearing that are viewable. So I would be able to put these on top of my tree. You do have a limit of six birds on top of your tree. So once you get to that point, you're gonna have to um, figure out which birds you are more important, start putting those in the clearing by doing those actions we talked about. On the 
on the right here is aim that uh, indicates tree six max. So. Another action you could do, which is more of a take that action, is the zoom lens, but this takes two of your actions. So you only get three, That it, this takes up two of them. You add a bird from, a, basically you're stealing a bird from the top of another player's tree, the top, not the bottom, and putting it directly into your photo book. That's a pretty um, high powered move. Uh, that you could do, but then you have to have a bird to give them from the top of your tree and they get to draw from the deck. So you could be hurting them or helping them depending on what they draw. Because um, you're taking from up here, you're not taking anything from what they've already scored. You could also do uh, publish, which is a great way to rack up some points. Also takes two of your actions, so um, keep that in mind. You could take one of these available publications and add it to your photo book. The, the publication I, I chose was two citation points for per identical bird in the preceding four pages of your journal. So I stuck it here. So the four birds before that are going to count towards those points, but they have to be identical. So I have three of a kind right here. So that would be six points for, for my publication. They have different ones. Um, Quentin got one that was similar, but it was for different types of birds in the preceding four. Um, let's see what these are. These are when you gain this card, immediately add any bird from the jungle or clearing to your tree. Your tree is up here. Photo journals down below. Um, two citation points per incomplete set of two or more birds in your photo journal. So this one covers your whole journal and an additional three for this card. So that's actually a pretty good one because I don't think I completed any of my sets. I didn't. I got a lot of set of, set of twos. Two citation points per black sickle bill. Um, the black sickle bill are these, and that's also an end of game scoring points for the person that has the most of those in their photo journal as well. So you would kind of get double points if you had that publication and you got the seven points I think it is yes for having the most of those is it seven yeah seven um and that's the five actions you can choose from then you're you keep going until um someone has 14 cards in their photo journal or until this deck runs out and then once that's done, you make sure everyone's had an, an equal amount of turns. This is the first player marker, so whoever has that, um, you go around the table after so Like if I'm the one that got the 14 cards and the first player already went, that means if we're a third player game, that third player is the only one that gets one additional turn. Then we've all had the same amount of turns. Then you do your scoring. So um, first you count up your birds, the sets. Over here you count up what your points are for the sets. Then you count your publications, the points for those. Um, you'd also, when you're doing your sets, you're also gonna count for these uh, special birds. Um, most sickle bills, which are these, whoever has the most in their photo journal gets seven points. The second most gets three. You have to have at least one to be qualified for the second most. The greatest variety of species. So basically you could just look at all your different sets, the colors of them, and that's how I was easy. I have four different species of birds in mine and um, possibly five or six if you count these imposter nestling and the mysterious birds. So that technically is birds. Um, the insect tokens, I didn't cover that. When you get a bird with a little token here in the bottom left, you immediately just take one of those tokens and put it in your area. You can use those, two of those, anytime during the game to take an extra action, or you can keep them and you get points for having the most unique insect tokens. So there's five different ones. If you have all five, you'll get 15 points. So it's not about the, qua the quantity, it's about the variation if you have for each type you have, you get more points. Um, the last thing you get can get points for are the books shown on your publications. Some of them have two books, some have three, so you count up all those books in your photo journal 
person with the most gets five points. The person with the second most gets two points. So very simple, um, familiar mechanics in this game. So if it would be easy to learn and teach, especially if you've played some point salad card games like this, it's really nothing special. I, I don't, I didn't discover a new mechanic on this. It's more kind of blending mechanics that are known um, on other board games and, and they, you know, basically making, they obviously created the theme first and then found mechanics that would work with that, um, that are feel familiar to people is how I think it probably was developed. So what did you think about this game? Uh, I really like the illustration and the components. Um, so the cards are uh, good quality. Well, actually, they could be a little bit better. They're kind of thin, so I don't know how well and how long they're going to last. Um, and if it's you feel like regular playing cards, kind yeah. of not yeah. as not as hard, I yeah. guess, not as hard card card stock. Yeah. So the cards could be better, a little bit better quality, uh, but everything else just great components, illustration, font, easy to read. Uh, so good components. Uh, Replayability, high replayability because there's so many different cards. The game's always changing. You also have your different publications. Uh, so there's enough there to keep, you know, come back to. As far as mechanics, mechanics are um, very similar to a lot of games we play. Um, there's, it's just they did a better job or a good job implementing the, the bird um, theme or you know, hobby into it. So as far as that, it's uh, really good. Uh, the mechanics are very simple to understand, learn, and also there's um, the board that indicates and tells you what and everything you can do. And the score mechanism and some of the stuff is also on the right. Um, so really cool um, that they provided that. And so Overall total, I'm giving this like a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a good base game. I think that this game might do good, better with an expansion that introduces some more uh, depth or different mechanics into it that will uh, you know, just give you more options and stuff. But it's a really cool game. And the reason we got this game it, and wanted to get the game is because uh, our son wants to... What's that? Ornithologist. He, yeah, he wants to you know, become or, or whatever. Ornithologist. So that's why uh, he's very intrigued by birds. And so that that's why we really want to get this. But great game. Uh, recommend it. What do you think? Yeah, so like he said, if you're into the bird hobby in any way, or if you just enjoy looking at your backyard birds like we do, it's they're, they're interesting creatures, and it's fun to look at them. We have several smart feeders. So it's fun to watch them um, through the little smart bird feeders to, to check out, you know, just watch them eat. They're pretty cute. And to watch how they change from season to season. They're more puffed up when it's cold. So it's kind of cool to see that. But um, so they did do a great job with this theme. And I would suggest this if you know someone that likes board games and enjoys birds they would probably enjoy this bird game if you like wingspan it's not like wingspan whatsoever but no. wingspan is about birds so um people that enjoy that game might enjoy this game because it's it is a point salad game it's caught it's, you know, it's just a simple card game a set collection um which so is wingspan but this is different very different but um so it might be something that you might want to check out and um you know, the mechanics, like I said before, there's nothing new. It's just they kind of took similar mechanics that's well-known and just wrapped them into a, a game with about birds. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. I can't say it's my favorite game, but, I mean, I, I enjoy playing it. I would give this a seven. It's it's one I would play again, and definitely I know Quentin will want to play this again. Oh, yeah. So it's one that I would enjoy playing again. And, it, and who knows, it might get more fun each time you play it because, one, yeah. we you kind of know which sets and and the strategies, the better yeah. strategies to go for. Um, 
for instance, I, I know I would play a lot differently mm-hmm. on our next game. Just using the publications probably more. Um, I was focusing more on collecting sets, but realize really you can manipulate the game in ways using other cards <laughs> that kind of help you do your sets easier without having to really um, focus on getting a ton of the same type bird. It kind of, for instance, those special bird cards for publications, there's there's different ones that can kind of help you in that way. Um, Quentin, uh, Quentin gives us an eight. So. Oh yeah, we asked him what his score was. It, it was an eight. So definitely one you might want to check out. It's it was relaxing. It's the only take that op- aspect in this game was a zoom lens. It, um, and it only hurts if it was a bird you were going to put in your photo yeah. photo album. Other than that, it's honestly not a big deal. It's kind of a... Helps you. Yeah. it's In my in my instance, once... I mean, Quinn kept doing it a lot. He loves to take that moves. One time he got a bird I wanted, but other, the other times he helped me. I got a special bird <laughs> that I drew. I think it helped you when he yeah. did it to you. <laughs> so it could backfire on you. So it's kind of take that, but it's not really a stick it to you, take that mechanic in the game. So I wouldn't worry about the, the take that if you don't care for that aspect of it. But um, we will put the link in the description if you want to check it out. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us a like. Feel free to leave any comments or questions. If you're already subscribed to us, thank you so much. And if you're not, we hope you will subscribe. We put out a lot of content. We have Kickstarters that are um, we're going to be covering soon. Thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Mm-hmm.